Mommy. Right, it's recording. So, um, basically, I hope I'm in camera shot. What I'm doing, can you, can you see my face? Yes, Mommy. All right, so what I'm doing today is um, Chinese-style pork chops with pasta, which I made last night, and uh, red Thai curry sauce with some curry paste. Anyway, so um, in here, I'll show you what I've got in here. In the oven, um, I have I've got three layers of the um, Chinese style pork ribs, and I've got my onions. I use two onions which I've already pre-cut, and then I this is what I'm going to use: Thai curry cooking sauce, and I'm going to use this as a paste, and. This is basically what I've already taken out, what I've put in there. Chinese style pork ribs. Um, so, yeah, it's a quick meal. Although it is going to take 45 minutes at 200 and... I think I put on 215 degrees, I'm not sure. Uh, for my ribs to cook. Go close my bath water quickly, please. Um, yeah, so that's basically what's going to happen. My son is going to come in and take over from the filming. And I'll take it from that. And yeah, it's filming. Don't put your hands in front. Hold it like this. Hey. Now hold her. Hold her. This. Now hold it as well. There. Just don't put your hands there. Alright, so um, what I'm basically going to do is I, I like cooking in a wok. As I can come up, can you see me? Am yes, I, I am I completely in? Yes, my I can see you and the pan. Alright, brilliant. Okay. So I generally use a wok because it's a lot easier um, in a fast meal and I'm going to put some of this um, madras, madras curry paste in. It is hot. Move back son. <laughs> Just keep me in the pan in and everything I'm doing. In. Um, it has its own oil, that's why I'm not putting oil in here. Um, so I don't know what this is. Um, like a spoon or what, I don't know. But anyway, so because it says hot. Um, I'm putting two and a little bit in, and um, then I'm just going to let that, I'm going to stick my onions in there. Like I said, I'm not putting oil in because um, the paste already has its oil, and it's not a sauce. So, um, please note that it seriously is not a sauce. Um, I can make my own sauces, so I don't buy sauces as such. Buy that red Thai curry, and I've got a green Thai curry, and that is purely because I don't know how to make those things myself. And then I put in, I just put in some water to stop it from burning. So the spice is not in there, and as you've noticed, I don't really cut my onions up too small. I basically cut them up in quite big chunks. They end up getting smaller in the pan in any case, so um, I'm going to leave that there and close it just so we can start. Um, I'm not absorbing flavour. So what I'm going to do now, sorry son, um, I'm going to put in some garlic and ginger and I'm going to put in some of this. This is um, a it's called Hira Raita. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's a kind of a mayonnaise thing um, and so what it is it's a smooth creamy yogurt and mint sauce with a sweet flavor great on pakora samosas and onion barges now I'm not going to use it for that purpose the reason I'm putting this in there is because this says that this, this paste is really hot um, and it does smell a bit hot so this kind of just uh, counteracts the heat um, oh. sorry about that so it counteracts the heat. Um, I'm going to put in some garlic and ginger. As you can see already, the pot is it's a wok, so kind of. So this is what it looks like now. See the spices are dissolving. And like I said, it's not sauce, it's spices. So the spices are dissolving. And besides me putting in, um, 
you know, putting this in because of, um, I love garlic and ginger. Really love it. Um, I'm very heavy handed with my spices because I just love spices. But another reason why I put this in, I'm putting this in, is because when I read the ingredients on here, it said that it had yogurt in as well. So, and some double cream and stuff like that. So, I figured, well, might as well be. Um, so, I don't know how much this is. Um, can you see it, baby? No, can you see inside the pot right now? Yes, mommy. Yeah, so, I don't know. I squirted in that. I don't know how much it is. And so, I'm really doing this to go over as a sauce. Like I said, I'm actually making my own sauce. So, I'm making this to go over the thing. As you can see, I've put in the garlic and ginger. And I have put in the madras uh, hot curry powder and I've put in this yogurt the yogurt with the sauce um, because it does say that it is pretty hot I'm kind of hoping it's not as hot because I put quite a lot of it in like I said I'm pretty heavy handed with my spices and then I just throw the sauce in this Thai this Thai curry the Thai curry sauce um, so I'm trying to go for a bit of a Asian, Asian feel tonight, um, Chinese, Thai kind mm. of feel, so this should go well on the, on the pork ribs, which are cooking in there, and again I just put my pork ribs in and that was it, I put the pork ribs in and I just put them in a little bit of water and I put them in the oven, so because generally meat has its own fat, so it will just do its thing. This should really, I'm going to try and put it on a bit of a low heat so that it can cook through nicely. And this is what it looks like. Can you see what it looks like? Yes, mommy. It looks, I, it looks yellow, but when you actually look at it, it looks orange. Okay, so I'm just going to reduce the heat by quite a lot. Like I said, because it is a wok, it tends to um, cook pretty quickly. So I've reduced the heat. Um, putting my garlic and ginger back in the fridge and this is what I use madras paste it says it's hot by Patex I hope it really isn't and um, the Tesco red Thai curry cooking sauce um, a Thai style red curry sauce with coconut it says medium heat so I'm not really sure I'm just hoping that I don't end up burning everybody's mouth but uh, we'll see when it when it comes um, I'm a bit worried about that actually because it does look a bit hot, um, like quite flimsy. So I'll give it a couple of more minutes to cook in. If it doesn't really cook in too well, I'll open some chopped tomatoes and throw them in there with some sugar because I know it will kind of balance it out. It balances out the, um, the heat. It will balance out the heat. So this goes back in my pantry and this goes back in the fridge and like I said I've got 29 minutes cooking on that and then the pasta um, is already in the fridge from last night um don't do that don't fill them the fridge don't be rude that's just rude um so my pasta is already um in here from there you go from last night so and all I've got to basically do is just reheat it throw some water in and reheat it and um that's it so i'm going to put this on pause and come back to you in a bit right can you hold it and continue it for mommy right, so i pressed continue already i'm just going to check my my sauce um it is a bit flimsy so i decided to add oh it smells lush though so I decided to add the. Um, this is two, two cartons of chopped tomatoes. Yeah. I was actually when I bought it. Um, I'm here, Isaiah. When I bought it, I thought that I was um, buying tinned tomatoes that are chopped in the, in the tin, but it wasn't. It came like this, so um, I'm not really gonna fuss. Um, and this is also because I'm just a bit worried about the heat aspect of my kids because. Um, 
I know. Sorry, I don't want to crack them, so. I think I need to cut it a bit wide, y'all. Well, so no. that is the first one gone in. I'll just cut this a bit wider. So that it doesn't actually splat like that. So, two cartons of tomatoes. Uh, chopped tomatoes in tomato juice. That's what it says. I'll just increase the heat a bit. And then I'll just add some sugar. The reason for the sugar is it just takes away the acidity of of the tomatoes because tomatoes are pretty acidic. What does acidic mean? They're high in acid. Okay. Um so this is what it looks like. Do you want to come and have your try? This one. So I'm just mixing it in. Oh, it looks nice. Um, I'm kind of hoping it will thicken out. <gasps> if it still doesn't thicken out, um, I'm just... Well, it is a sauce, so it doesn't really need to be thick. I just really like thick sauces. That's just my thing. Um, but this is what it looks like now. So this is my red Thai curry sauce with my um, chopped tomatoes. madras paste, my chopped tomatoes and sugar, and um, onions. Yeah, I did say onions earlier. Thank you. Yeah, so garlic and ginger and my yogurt with the cream sauce. So because there's quite a lot more in the pot, I have turned the heat up. So. And I'll put this in the bin. Um, if if closer towards the end of it, it doesn't really get a bit thick the way I would like it to be thick. I'm gonna add in some granules, a uh, gravy granule, uh, from Tesco. They don't really have a flavor because they're not the Bristol ones, so they're not heavily flavored at all. It's just really to make um. The, your sauce or your gravy as I say I don't really use the word um, sauce I tend to use the word gravy so just to make that thick mommy and that's about it I got alright just carry on there hold this list right so what I'm doing now is I'm just can you bring it, can you bring it this side first just, can you bring it so that you show the pot tie there? I'm just heating up. I'm just heating up the the pasta pot. I haven't put any water in just yet. Um, so as you can see, there's some steam coming out there. So, so I'll just let that. that. Yeah, I'll just let that cool up a bit. Um, and then I'll have a look at my curry, my red Thai curry, which I'll. Looking red. Made a bit different. Um, it smells really great. Get some coconutty smells. Get some different heated smells, which I've never. I don't really. I haven't smelt before because obviously it's um. It's a Thai curry sauce, so it has like bamboo and other things in which. Because I don't know how to make that, I just. I buy, um, can you lift it up Isaiah, because I'm here. So, um, I'm going to stop it and then once it's done, then I'll just show you the end of it and just put the videos together. So, so many. Okay, so this is the last part. Um, this is just the dishes that I prepared to dish up in. Um, as you can see our portion sizes in our family are not humongous and just to show you the end of this is what the Chinese style pork uh, chops looks like I keep on saying ribs but it's not ribs it's chops and then this is what my Thai curry looks like and there and then I'll just once I've dished up then I'll show you um, what it is and then once again as you can see it is um you know chinese style pork chops it, it isn't ribs so 
Uh, I'll pause it to shop and show you them. Yeah, Alright, okay, so this is basically what it looks like dished up. So, there you go. I zoomed in too much. So, there you go. That's it. And that's our dinner.